Today, I want to make sure that if you're utilizing paid online advertising, it's going to work for you. I'm Scott Olford, and I'm going to give you a little lesson on making sure that you can actually make paid advertising, like Facebook advertising, work for you. <laughs> So a lot of people go and start a lead generation and what they didn't do was start at the finances. Which, uh, please, please, please. If I have another person that says I can't get this working and they didn't do their finances, I might slap them with a tuna. All right, so really easy to know if it's gonna work. I mean, it, 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 it's, 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 it's simple. I mean, I suck at math, I mean, really do. I like really suck at math. Funny story, when I was in school, I used to outsource all my homework because I suck so bad at math. So I used to outsource all my homework to somebody that was actually uh, in the United Kingdom uh, in London. And so they would do all my homework, which meant 50% of my mark was always 100%. And then during my tests, if I screwed them up, I'd still pass with like a 60. It worked incredibly well. Not cheating, just outsourcing. Master delegator, right from, right from the school. <laughs> Anyways, so. Here's the thing, let's say you have, uh, let's just call it a thousand dollar product, okay? A lot of people have thousand dollar products. I don't think if you're selling something online, um, you know, it depends on the situation, but I like to go with something that's over 2000, but I suck at math. So for the fact that I don't have a whiteboard here right now, I gotta do this calculation in my head. Let's just go with it. So we have a thousand dollar product. Now, let's also assume that your lead cost is about $10. If you're, you know, if you're targeting people in the business world, Costs about ten dollars to generate a lead, say on Facebook, on an average basis. Sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. From that, you basically, if you're looking at the spectrum of you know, advertising, you would have to get at least one person to buy out of a hundred in order for that to work. If you had a thousand dollar product, in order just to break even, not pay for anything else, not profit or anything like that, you'd have to get at least one person. You'd have to get two two people to buy out of a hundred to be able to make five hundred dollars from a profitability perspective. Three to get, you know, three hundred dollars per per purchase. So making a little bit more now. So essentially, at the end of the day, you would have to get about five to eight people to purchase your thousand dollar product. Now, a conversion rate typically on something like this, at kind of best, is typically two or three percent, unless you have some unfair advantages. Now, some of your unfair advantages might be the fact that you're utilizing my ROI principles. Relevancy, omnipresence, intimacy. Uh, a second one is the fact that you're in a niche that's not necessarily competitive. Uh, a third one is you're in a country or a geographic region that's not overly competitive. Uh, the fourth is that you're somebody that is, uh, you know, really at the end of the day, you're a brand inside of your industry. So if you're popular, you already have an audience to be able to kind of sort of go to. Um, or, to be honest with you, if you start looking into those stats, they're not that great. Because if you're selling a thousand dollar product, I don't care what it is, you want to be able to make at least $500 profit on it at minimum. So what does this mean? Well, you have to start sketching out because I don't want to be able to, any internet marketer that says you put a dollar in and get $2 out, those are not returns. That's basically just breaking even because people don't consider the cost of doing business. You need to be able to put a dollar in and get a minimum of $6 back. The typical marketing budget that a business should have is somewhere around 10 to 15%, which means your returns actually should be one to 10. If you're not in this situation, you don't have that type of advertising, it means it's gonna be very difficult for you to grow your business quickly and effectively. And if you can't grow your business and the profitability of your business, then you may have lots of leads, but you're not actually gonna have a whole lot of profit, which means at the end of the year, you're gonna be like, oh, I did this entire year and I didn't actually get anything from it. Ugh, not good, not, it's not, not a good feeling. So you wanna take all these things and then say, hey, listen, maybe I need to go and increase my offer. Or maybe I need to go and put a uh, higher lifetime value. Maybe I need to put a product on the back of it or a product in front of it. See, all these things can be 100% depicted before you ever start an ad, yet so many people start putting a marketing funnel together, don't look at the finances, pretty much putting the entire thing to lock, but let's keep in mind most people are hobbyists in their business, not actual entrepreneurs, so the hobbyists do this. Then they actually go on Facebook, they start generating leads, they don't actually make money, they may be making sales, but they don't make any money, and then at the end of the day they're like, oh, you know what, I've doubled my business, but my profit is still zero. Do the numbers, do the math, 
Think about the entire situation behind your advertising and get your numbers right. Remember, those who play business with running the business by the numbers are the ones who can profit, impact, and create the largest amount of abundance. So if you're not doing that, start it now. And stop just kind of letting everything go to hope. Hope marketing is not marketing. If you're trying in your business to grow it based on the same way that you would hit the you know, roulette table, then you're gonna have a bad time. Don't do it. I'll see you soon. So if you enjoyed this content and you want more of it, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And if you want other entrepreneurs just like you to be able to also access this information, this knowledge, make sure you go ahead and share it with someone that means the most to you. Remember, as entrepreneurs, it's our job to be able to help other entrepreneurs continue to elevate, allowing us to evolve society and evolve our world. I'll see you next time. Bye.